Have you ever heard about Mimosa Pudica? Have you ever heard about Mimosa Pudica seeds and the way it is used to uh, remove parasites from our body? This, this is a very interesting video. It took me a long time to uh, research and come up with some conclusions here about using this seed because I couldn't find any really good reviews online. So in this video, I'll discuss uh, my experience using these seeds, uh, the science behind all of this. I'll show you an experiment what happens to Mimosa Pudica seeds. I'll show you which products I've tried and I'll show you how I get a product which is about four or five times cheaper than the, than the more expensive brand here. And most importantly, you know, the things that, are, that leave our body together with Mimosa Pudica, are they really parasites like people show online? This is not for the squeamish types. You know, if, you're, if you can't uh, look at photos and images of things that are coming out of our bodies, I suggest you move on to another video. Otherwise, uh, we'll have a good time and uh, this will be worth, worth your while learning about this uh, plant. So Mimosa Pudica is a very interesting plant. It has very different uh, qualities depending on which part of the plant you use. You know, the, uh, you can use a leaf, roots, but today's uh, focus is on the seeds, which are very gelatinous by its nature. It's kind of like if you've um, come across chia seeds, you know that if you soak them, they become kind of like these tiny little jellies. So this is uh, Mimosa Pudica seeds are on steroids. They really bulk up and become very gelatinous and gluey and sticky. So when this powder is swallowed, it, it, it expands and changes in consistency. And the claims are that the structure latches onto uh, uh, parasites in, in your intestinal tract and it kind of takes them out. It, it transports them out while they're still alive, but they're paralyzed. It also claims that uh, Mimosa pudica seeds latch onto a biofilm. Also, the seeds grab to mucoid plaque from the injured areas of your gut to carry them out with your stool as well. Just to give you a quick background, I mean, why this is a, a insomnia related video is because uh, what are you suffering from insomnia or any a long-term chronic condition, you're very likely dealing with uh, toxicity, either inner or outer environmental parasites, candidas, you know, mold, you know, you name it. There's so many different ways for our bodies to overload these days and create symptoms. So my whole strategy and, and philosophy has become that I always focus on reducing the total body burden. Now you can go watch a video, a previous one about it, uh, in order to allow the nervous system to calm down and obviously heal. And then with that comes sleep and then with that comes health. So this is why I even started exploring all these natural ways of, uh, of, of uh, remove some of this burden through removing parasites and dealing with candida and so on. So when it comes to research, I found very little about the seeds. Now, there is one um, study here uh, that uh, specifically does talk about uh, uh, Mimosa pudica seeds. Basically, that uh, this study demonstrated paralysis and also caused death of worms in the dose-dependent manner, uh, specifically using extracts of seeds of Mimosa pudica. Now, same study talks about different properties of anti-diarrheal activity, anti-fertility activity, uh, anti-inflammatory activity, anti-hepatotoxic uh, activity. Uh, it, it, the plant itself is amazing, it has amazing qualities, and uh, it's beyond the scope of this video here. So, but I hi highly suggest you look into it yourself and consider using other parts of the plant as well. Now, this is also where I would like to share a warning with you about getting too excited about using this for parasites. So, again, if you're squeamish, you can skip this portion. I'm going to show a photo which, uh, like this or many similar photos are posted online in different forums of people getting excited that they're excreting parasites, okay? So, close your eyes if you don't want to see, but here it is. And, and what you're seeing is these strong, uh, long, stringy, uh, rope looking uh, creatures that people pass uh, in their stool and th these are washed of course if you want to look anyways uh, you know and and they're saying look you know I uh, I, I, I passed uh, these worms again and uh, they keep 
passing them out and that's the thing this is where uh it gets kind of nuts and i and I, this is where i raise my eyebrow as I, is it even possible to have that many parasites to keep passing them out and i had to dig deeper and say you know what's going on here so uh then i found the uh, the study um which uh is the reason for my warning that basically they the call it two cases of gastro uh intestinal delusional parasitosis <laughs> you know gastro delusional right you can call us that way and um, it's basically they, they just say there is delusional par parasitosis in the psychiatric as, uh, as a psychiatric uh, illness in patients which believe that they're infested by parasites without any evidence to support this belief and they're talking about two cases so anyway long story short there was one lady a 58 year old lady uh, that uh, medical history of chronic Lyme disease presented to uh, to a clinic and uh, reporting uh, two years of parasites in every bowel movement she showed us uh, cell phone pictures of her many stools describing brown stringy structures in her stool as worms right this is like what I just showed you in, in a photo and uh, the patient described taking an herbal supplement called mimosa pudica which she believed to cause expulsion of these parasites from her intestines. During our evaluation, the patient expressed a desire to discuss hospice care because she believed that she was term terminally ill. She actually believed she was dying. We repeat, they said, doctor said, we repeated some of her workup, didn't find any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, any uh, potential parasites or any, uh, and despite offering support and uh, uh, repetition of her infectious workup and test the patient committed suicide this lady took her life she was so distressed that she kept passing these uh, warm like strings and uh, there's another 49 year old lady who was also uh, who was a friend of the first patient that both both of them were taking the uh, supplement presented for a fourth opinion for several years of passing rope worms in her stool. In fact, she presented our, to, uh, to our office with a large liquid sample and several stool pictures re demonstrating elongated black and brown soft material which had tested negative for parasites. Uh, and she had also been taking mimosa pudica, which she reported increased the parasite content of her expelled stool, uh, stools leading to better cleansing, right? And this is what they call uh, a parasit, uh, a gastrointestinal delusion, which is quite uh, common actually. And unfortunately, in this case, ended up with someone's death because they actually believed that she kept passing these parasites. So, you know, I looked up some info online. I looked some some of the experiences, and I, I decided to do one of my own. So follow me to my kitchen and let's do an experiment together with mimosa pudica seeds and uh, put it to the test and see what those rope looking creatures could really uh, be. Alrighty, so what we have here is an uh, expensive brand uh, pudica mimosa. It comes in the form of capsules like this. Oh, and what I will do, I will put the capsules in here. Uh, and I will also put a raw, uncrushed Podica Mimosa seeds in here and then I'll put the crushed ones in here because they will have different properties. I'm guessing uh, the uncrushed ones won't be as gelatinous, so let's see what happens. So two caps is more like a half a spoon. Pro mimosa pudica seeds. I take about a similar amount. I'll show you as a close up here in a moment. And then I'll take about the same amount and I'll, cru and I'll crush them. I'll put this in here. And 
now we need to add some water, right? To see how they will act. And now I'll mix it. And you can see that the very well crushed brand is already forming into a very sort of like a gelatinous. I mean, this was within moments here, right? And uh, the, the real seeds are also forming gelatinous paste. Wow. This is a bit of a surprise because I didn't think they would, but they are. And the crushed ones are not as finely crushed as I wish. And they're a different color, but they're forming uh, a nice, thick, sort of gelatinous structure just as much. The real seeds, however, are not as tightly bound together, but I'm still surprised how nicely gelatinous they're becoming and and they're also forming in this nice sort of like slimy structure. What does this show me? It shows me that uh, the cheaper brand works just as nicely even if it's not crushed. And now for the most important part, let's see whether these can form into sort of these like slimy worm types when they dry. All right, so it's been about an hour. I let it dry a little bit. This is the expensive Mimosa Pudica. It dried a little bit, but not enough probably, but probably enough. So, okay, so let's see if we can form some sort of like a, a, for, a, a, a worm like structure that looks like a, looks like some sort of like a worm that comes out the other end and it's actually very um, very tightly bound it seems like it's not easy to tear it apart so I can totally see how this would just kind of slide through the intestines like this you know so as you can see it's very uh, it looks in itself oh wow actually very very tightly it's, you know, it sticks very, 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 very much to a, to a surface. I can see how it sticks to the intestines and kind of scrubs them. So, here's this one. Nice warm, huh? Okay. Now, just the raw seeds. Let's see whether they're just as tight. Um, and also, Looks pretty much the same. Looks like maybe less, slightly less uh, solid when it comes to like binding together as a, as a as a unit. Although here it's uh, just as fine. Looks like you know. Again, look at this. Right. This is something that people film coming out of their rears and freak out. And this is a, a crushed seed. <clears throat> Quite tight, just like the first one. Definitely more, more, t uh, more structure and tightness to it. Looks like it definitely makes sense uh, crushing them, so that the glues uh, come, come, come together better. But this, this again looks like another worm that comes out, right? And sometimes they split and have two of these things come out. So in general, what do we have? We have three different Mimosa Pudica structures. And look at this, they almost look identical and they look like exactly like some worms coming out of somebody's 
but and this is where people freak out and they say look I'm passing rope worms this is what they're passing looks like you can put a mustache on it <laughs> worms worms you know what uh, here let me see let me see what this tastes like actually I have some water here mm. 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 worms mm. very good worm mm. 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 Gosh. Slimy sucker, huh? Phew. I probably swallowed way too much here. But we'll see. I think I'll live. That's that for this experiment. Okay, so now if you want to close your eyes again. I'll show you, uh, <laughs> if you're squeamish, I'll show you a, a photo of, uh, uh, of the stringy uh, structure that uh, came out of, of, of my rear end after I was doing a, a liver flush. And uh, as you can see, you know, I washed it all out and, and then I was looking at it and I was like, okay, these are, this is weird. I didn't really realize that this is yet the uh, same uh, seed structure. I kind of analyzed, and then when I kind of zoomed in, I saw that uh, here it looks like 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 some you know like uh, like parts of the seeds, you know, and uh, and then I realized, okay, this is funny. This must be uh, this is what I just showed you in the, in that experiment. It just kind of came in, you know, I, it went in and came out the other end. Now these two guys are are a bit more interesting. They look like either some sort of mucoid plaque or could be uh, of parasitic nature. I don't know. I mean, I didn't want to like, you know, I kind of left them out and they dried out and that was the end of it. But it, anyways, uh, I hope this shows you that, uh, you know, I have a firsthand experiment, ex experience that uh, the Mimosa purica does pass through the GI tract completely uh, unchanged in its form. Perhaps some of it gets absorbed by the by the GI tract, but uh, definitely not that this whole fibrous thing. Okay, now the price. You know, basically, uh, Cellcor stuff. I bought. Uh, I paid like forty-seven uh, euros, and it has about fifty-four grams, I, I, I believe, uh, plus shipping, which was very expensive. And then I, you know, you can go on Amazon or eBay and you just buy seeds in a very simple form. And this was, uh, I believe. Uh, 250 grams and they paid 33 euros for it. So that's about four or five times the, the difference. If you're doing this long term, of course, it saves a ton of money. And, you know, as you saw in the experiment, this, the, the, the substance, the structure itself is very, very uh, similar. And I think the quality and the properties are identical, if not better. So now I basically just mix it with water like this. I put a spoon of, uh, of the powder and wait for it to sort of gel, gel up a little bit, mix it, mix, it, mix it with a little spoon or something. And I simply just uh, down it like this. It's very simple, you know? And, and the thing that's interesting is if you, if you don't completely swallow the whole thing, some of it does stick to, uh, to your upper uh, roof of the mouth. And it, it really, you can really tell that it just really sticks. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to dislodge it with your tongue. And I can see that it, it could really work like that if it's traveling through the intestine and kind of, you know, pulling and grabbing to things along the, along the way. So my conclusion is, for, is that grinding the seeds open up, uh, opens up their properties and their, their qualities. Uh, you, can, you can find it much cheaper. Those are not rope worms. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, this experiment shows what they are. I like that I had very little uh, side effects using this, uh, this product. Kind of just rumbles down, down your intestines. And that's pretty much it. You know, and I'm a pretty sensitive guy with all of my health issues. And it, it seems like I had no, no, no really ill uh, side effects. Other than maybe some constipation, but it's something that's easy to take care of. So a very interesting uh, plant indeed and I'm very curious what your experience is so please leave, leave some comments and some stories. I'd love to know more uh, of what uh, you experienced using it. So bye for now, get well, heal, hope you sleep better soon and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.